There may come a time when you want to share an example or a template file with your students. Maybe if you're writing an essay or if you're filling out a, a report of some kind and you want your students to be able to edit it but not change the original template. Uh, in other words, you want your students to become their own digital copy machine as far as that paper goes. So there's lots of different ways in Google Drive to make a master template and this video is going to focus on two different ways. The first is to simply upload a Word document. So if you are unsure about how to upload files, check out our video. But when I upload a file like maybe this doc here, this Word document, right? I can see it's a Word document. When it's there, just like we said in the other video, the little W tells me it's a, a Word doc. When you go to double click it, I don't have the ability to type and edit in here. That's just not there. What your students would have to do is to click the drop down arrow and select open in Google Docs. That'll convert this Word document into a Google Doc and then your students will have their own copy that they can edit and alter or add to without changing the original. Again, to get this file out, you simply want to either right click on the file and select the share option, or you can single click on the file so it's highlighted, click the share icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and the easiest way to do this is with a shareable link. So you'll say get shareable link, make sure your domain permissions are set correctly if that's important, uh, and if you're not sure, go check out this video about sharing files. But you can just copy your link and paste that into your learning management system, in our case, Schoology. That way your students will get access directly to this file and they can make a copy of it. Pretty straightforward. That's one way, but there is a shortcoming with that. If you ever wanted to change the way this document looks, you would have to upload a new document and then give a new share link in your LMS. So that can get a little tricky. Another way to do it is to make the file a Google Doc to begin with. So this template I just pulled up from Google Docs and what you can do here is set this file as a share but with view only rights. So that way when your students open up, it'll be the same exact thing. They'll have a view only copy and they'll have to make a copy, which we'll show you in a later video, uh, of that file. So they won't be able to change the, the original template. Here's how you do that. Once you have your file all ready to go, you can click on share and again say get shareable link. Now before you copy this link, click right here and it, actually we don't need to because it says anyone with the link can view, right? Again, our options are edit, comment, view. We want them just to be able to view it. So I can copy that link now that I know my sharing permissions are set the way I want as view only access and just like before, cop paste that link into my Schoology class. So again, in a later video, we'll show you how the students or how your audience would make a copy of that to edit. But that's how you can get a master template file. Uh, again, the advantage of doing it here with a Google Doc, if I go and change this to say, instead of basic units of life, I just say units of life. I don't have to do anything in terms of my link in Schoology. It's automatically going to update it and keep it living. So that's one advantage to using this Google Docs method. But there you go. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either Taylor or myself.